I'm back. It's been a while, but I finally finished a recipe that is worth posting. Um, I took a little bit of time off to enjoy the Houston area with my family, um, but I'm back and I'm ready to start some new recipes. So be prepared and I hope you enjoy this one. So now that you've seen what we've been doing, here's our recipe. And I'm going to have a special helper you ready today. ready to help me cook? Yes. We're going to make our little angel food cake trifle. You have your camera ready? Yes. All right, let's do this. Yeah. And a smile. I can't see. Your camera's in the way. Move your camera down. Now, good smile. Nice. Okay, so now that you guys know that I have a helper, my daughter Layla was super excited to help me make this angel food cake today. Um, so I tried to cheat really hard with this recipe and just buy a ready-made angel food cake, but I guess because it was Easter weekend, they were all gone. So we decided to make our own, which was actually a lot easier than I thought. This was my first one we've ever made, and of course it's from the box, so it's already easy. But it only called for water, so it was super easy again, and my daughter just had a blast um, helping me put it together. So as you can see, her little tiny hands are there, and of course I'm there helping her. So just as a frame of reference, my daughter is three, so I would totally encourage you to have your kids come and help you or a niece or a nephew or cousin, whoever it is that could be helping you. It's easy. This recipe is so much fun to make and it's so colorful and delicious that it's just like, let's do it and let's lick some utensils on the way out. So just a little side story, I never made pudding, like instant vanilla pudding or any kind of pudding until I was like well into my late teens. And when I read the directions that you just put cold milk and whip it up, I was like, no way. There is no way that's it's this easy. And when it started like getting a little bit more congealed and like more of a pudding substance, I was like, like mind blown. So now pudding and banana pudding and any kind of pudding is just so fun, so easy, and so delicious. Does anybody else feel the need that when you're scraping things out with a rubber spatula that you could get every single little piece of whatever it is in your bowl out and you feel like you could just scrape and scrape and scrape all day? It's almost really satisfying. Just so you know, I totally eyeballed this. It calls for like six ounces of uh, plain cream cheese, but I didn't have anything to measure six ounces and my little container was eight. So I just kind of put the majority in there. So it really didn't make a difference to me. It was still delicious afterwards.
Was I worried about the combination inside this bowl? A little bit. I was like, cream cheese and yogurt sounds delicious, but cream cheese, yogurt, and sour cream is a little questionable. But I trusted the process. So now that I added my pudding, I read the directions and it said to gently fold um, the pudding in. So that's what I did. Um, I know it takes like 10 seconds on this video, but it took like a good minute and a half to fold everything to where it was nice and combined. So take your time and be nice to it. You have to do the same thing with the whipped cream, which thank you Jesus for H-E-B. H-E-B makes fresh whipped cream, so I was able to get two boxes of fresh whipped cream and I put it inside and I folded it too. So it came out nice and airy and fluffy. And of course you have to make the little squiggly line on top to make it look delish. Another side note, as a newbie to the creator of the awesome and delicious angel food cake, uh, I did not have a round pan, I don't know what they call it, with the hole in the middle, so I just decided to Google it and see if I could use a rectangle pan, which, uh -huh, of course I can. Um, but I was not aware that angel food cake is a little hard to cut, and I'm not sure if it's because I let it like cool down so long, but just be aware it might be a little bit hard to cut. I did know, however, that I wanted it to be cut in bite-sized pieces, so I tried it and I bit a size and it was perfect. So I put it back, which is not sanitary, but it's mine, so I do what I want. So of course it's mixed berry, so I decided to choose strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries. Um, it was quite delicious. I think the original recipe calls for blackberries, but I'm not a fan, so I chose to omit. Uh, so do what you want, it's yours. Alright guys, so from here on out, you're just going to layer that bad boy. So you put the angel food cake, you put your little creamy stuff, and then you put your fruits, and then you do it all over again until you get to the very top. Save a little bit of that whipped cream, put it on top like a frosting, and make a pretty little design like I did. You look like a chef, even though, you know, I'm not a real chef, but hey, I try. It came out absolutely delicious. Everybody went back for seconds and even thirds, and it was eaten within two days. You know there's some recipes that you create that you have leftovers and they last forever? Not this one. I beg of you try this deliciousness and tell me what you think it was fantastic i hope to see you guys soon later